Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and on this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Maono WM820 wireless microphone system. So first, let's do a quick unboxing of this tiny wireless system. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out of the box. I like the colors of the box, black and yellow, kind of like the taxis in India and also in my country, in Argentina. Uh, immediately as you open the box, you can see there is instruction manuals coming in Chinese and English, of course, and there are a lot of graphics, make it more easy for you to read. Inside we have the wireless unit, bus receiver and transmitter. Let me put that aside and take a look at what connects the Type-C cables. We have two of them. These are for charging the device, so you can charge both at the same time. We have a windshield cover to protect from wind noises, to reduce the, the amount of wind noise. And then we have two cables, TRRS and TRS, so you can connect to either smartphone devices or cameras or any audio recorder device. We also have a neoprene bag, so you can carry everything around. Now, I gotta say, this unboxing reminds me a lot of the unboxing I have done for the Rode Wireless Go. I did not review that microphone because by the time I got it, there were so many reviews out there, but it's the microphone I'm using right now. And everything looks so similar to the Rode Wireless Go, and even the bag. The bag is about the same. The size of the units, both transmitter and receiver, are almost identical in size. I think the Maono is just like maybe two grams lighter. I'm just saying two grams, I don't know exactly how <laughs> was the weight, but yeah, it's just a little lighter, but generally speaking, I would say they're so similar, like from the unboxing experience to the bag and to the microphone itself. Now, since I'm using the Rode Wireless Go, now I'm gonna switch to the Maono and you are gonna tell me what you think about the audio. Is it similar or is there any difference? So let me quickly change into this and I'll get back to you in just a second. I am now using the Maono wireless mic system. You can see it right here. And since this is so, so similar to the Rode Wireless Go, I guess I'm gonna be comparing them quite a lot in this review. And yeah, so from size, design, unboxing, even the carrying bag looks very similar. One thing that the Rode Wireless Go definitely pulling ahead right now is that the Rode Wireless Go have a little LCD screen. You can barely see it under the sun, but nonetheless, it's there. So, for example, when I set the levels on the mic, I can see what's the levels. In the Maono, I can't. Even so, they have the advantage of having more buttons. So you can control the, the levels either up or down, while this one only has one button and cycles through. So we have level one, two or three. And all the Maono, you can go up and down, but you don't know where are the levels because there is no screen to see if your audio is okay or... Anyway, that's kind of like the only disadvantage that I see right now for the Maono when compared to the Rode Wireless Go. It would be nice to have a little screen. Other than that, uh, so far I'm not so sure how this sounds like because I haven't yet heard them, but you are listening to this and you can tell me what do you think? You were just listening before to the Rode Let's Go that is now my hand and now that I have the Maono, does it sound any better or any worse? Uh, I noticed that the sensitivity of the Maono is also very similar to the raw wireless go. If I put it at the highest sensitivity, I need to bring the preamps on my camera a lot lower. Um, same to the raw wireless go. If I put it on level three, I need to bring the, the preamp on my camera very low. And I like hot wireless mics because some cameras don't have good preamps and that can somehow reduce the, the, the room noise. So it's something that I like. Now I can see right now that I, every now and then I pick just a little bit, but generally speaking, I always set my levels to somewhere around minus 12 decibels, uh, minus 12 to minus six decibels. I try to don't go all over the, you know, over zero and peak, but that's the same way I have set the road wireless go a moment ago, about the same, minus 12 to minus six decibels. So the audio should be similar, at least, you know, uh, the levels. I don't know about the quality. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I really want to know what you think about these mics. Uh, obviously, they're uh, a bit more affordable than the Rode Wireless Go, even so they're very similar. 
I can assume they will have a little LCD screen, same as the Roy Wireless Go. And right now the market have been flooded with this mini wireless microphone. This at least, that looks pretty cool. I like the, the design they have. And the fact that it looks very similar to the Roy Wireless Go is kind of like, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And you have like they copy their design. Their design is quite unique. The, the logo and just, it's a very clean design, which I like. So kudos to Mauno. To, to get into the market and, and compete with everyone else. Um, by the way, if this is your first time in this channel, please make sure to subscribe, give this video a like if you like it. It will somehow information and help you make a purchase decision. Make sure to share it with your friends. This is Gabby from Ray Studios and I'll catch you up in the next video.